Again, we're evaluating piecewise functions. Uh, again, piecewise functions are a function that is made up of, one, of two or more equations and governed on the domain with the conditional statements usually given in an inequality form as x needs to be less than or equal to 1 or x is greater than 1. Um, and these, these can be any real value that we want. So, for this example, I want to do the function value at 3. Again, the first thing that we'll do to determine where we will use 3, as far as which equation we'll use 3 in, we need to find the x value, because here's f of x, the only thing that's changed is now x is 3. We need to find the statement of x that is true. So, first, looking at is 3 less than or equal to a positive 1? No, it is not. So we're not going to use the top equation. What we'll do is we'll substitute into the bottom to check the next one. Is 3 greater than 1? And yes, it is. It checks. So we're going to substitute 3 in for all values of x that we see in this piecewise function. So the function value at 3, we determined it is this bottom function. So it will be the opposite of 3 plus 3, which is just a copy down of the equation. Okay, and negative 3 plus 3 we see is 0, which gives us the function value at 3 of this piecewise function f of x is 0. Uh, 